in the previous video we talked about what is cancer what is the mechanism behind the formation of cancer the genes involved in cancer formation and what is the basic difference between a tumor and a cancer in this video we'll talk about what causes the mutations that lead to cancer and what are some basic types of cancer before we move on there's something that i forgot to mention in the previous video which are some examples of the three main types of genes involved in cancer examples of onco genes are her2 and the egfr genes the her2 has been associated with a lot of types of breast cancer and the egfr gene has been associated with pancreatic cancer when it comes to tumor suppressor genes some examples are the brca1 gene which is a very common type of gene that is mutated in a lot of types of breast cancers specifically the ones that are genetic or that can be inherited and the other type of example is the p53 genes now this p53 gene is, has been associated with a lot of types of cancer like the colorectal cancer and pancreatic cancer it's not very important for you to know these examples because they're not going to come in any examination but i just thought it'll be nice to know some examples examples of dna repair genes are the xrcc1 genes that are often associated with some types of lung cancer and the atm gene which is often associated with pancreatic cancer now that we've talked about some examples of the three types of genes involved let's take a look at what causes the mutations in these genes so anything that induces a mutation in the dna in any of the genes is known as a carcinogen or a mutagen and there are three different types of mutagens or carcinogens that are often involved in the development of cancer they are physical chemical and biological carcinogens physical carcinogens are any type of rays that can cause cancer like uv rays x rays or gamma rays uv rays from the sun x rays from the x ray machine and the gamma rays from radioactive substances radioactive isotopes these in more quantities when they reach the cell then that can lead to a lot of dna mutations that can then cause cancer chemical carcinogens are any chemical that can induce dna damage like asbestos nicotine heavy metals and toxins asbestos from the roof that we use nicotine mainly from cigarette heavy metals like arsenic and lead and a lot of toxins that are secreted by some fungi they are all types of chemical carcinogens that can cause cancer biological carcinogens are any living material or a living being that can lead to dna damage like viruses and bacteria one major type of virus that can cause cancer is the human papilloma virus or hpv that has been associated with a lot of cases of cervical cancer in women fortunately for us there is a vaccine that can prevent infection by hpv that's so good right i mean a lot of types of cancers are not curable but here we have a vaccine to prevent the occurrence of one type of cancer if we take a look at the types of cancers these mutagens cause then uv rays they often lead to skin cancer which is also known as a melanoma asbestos and nicotine they mostly affect the lung asbestos when you inhale it goes and accumulates within the lungs similar to the chemicals present in cigarettes that's going to go and affect the cells in the lung causing lung cancer nicotine can also cause cancers of the mouth and stomach as well hpv like i said causes cervical cancer in women and penile or anal cancer in men as well now you have to bear in mind that exposure to these at small quantities is not going to lead to cancer it is when we are exposed to this in a large or a sufficient enough quantity that can cause mutation more than that the mutations have to keep accumulating in the body so much that the three types of genes involved they cannot detect these mutations that is when the tumor cells will be formed which then would lead to cancer these are fine okay but what about people who religiously wear sunscreen when going out do not smoke or they are not exposed to heavy metal or toxins or they are not infected with hpv some of those people still end up getting cancer how is that possible 
Well, some of the DNA mutations are actually very random. A lot of cases of cancer, they don't exactly have a cause because these mutations occur randomly in the cell. They begin accumulating randomly in the cell and that's what causes cancer. Now that we've understood what causes the mutations that lead to cancer, let's look at some common types of cancer, some examples of cancers. So a lot of cancers are classified based on where they originate from, the type of cell they originate from. For example, if the cancer originates from any of the epithelial cells, you have different types of epithelial cells, right? Simple, squamous and all that. If the cancer originates from these epithelial cells, then that is known as a carcinoma. And examples of carcinomas are melanomas are oftentimes types of carcinomas. Cancers of the breast, lungs, liver, kidneys, pancreas and prostate. Any of these cancers, if it originates from the epithelial cells that line these organs, then that is a type of a carcinoma. Lymphomas and leukemias are blood cancers that affect blood cells. Lymphomas originate in the lymphoid or the lymphatic system. The examples is the non-Hodgkin's and the Hodgkin's lymphoma. Leukemias are cancers that originate in the bone marrow. They affect the white blood cells, the red blood cells and even the plasma cells. If the plasma cells are cancerous, then that is known as a myeloma. Sarcomas are cancers that originate in the bone, connective tissue, muscle, fat tissue, Osteosarcoma is a very common type of bone cancer. It's a very dangerous form of cancer. A lot of times the part of the bone that is affected often needs to be amputated. And myomas are muscle cancer. If the cancer originates in any of the muscle cells, then it is known as a myoma. With this, we are ending the series of videos regarding cancer, its mechanism, the genes involved, what causes cancer, the carcinogens that cause cancer and some common types of cancers.